Hi guys, welcome back, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna be making a sweet potato and spinach curry this afternoon in the Thermomix. So first off, I'm gonna add some oil. Use any kind of oil you like, vegetable oil. I've just got a bit of olive oil here. Just remember when you're adding liquids to the Thermomix, just to go a little bit slowly, give it a chance to catch up. So we've got 20 grams of your choice of oil going in there. And then I'm gonna add one onion, just chopped into quarters. A couple of cloves of garlic, I've got three, cause that one's a little bit tiny. And I'm gonna add one whole chili, chopped into thirds. And we're gonna chop that five seconds on speed five. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and saute that. So we're gonna saute that for four minutes on 100 degrees on the wooden spoon function. Lovely, that's finished sauteing. I'm just gonna take some of the onion off the lid. Um, scraping the extra bits from off the sides. Okay, perfect. Now to add some of the curry powder. So we want three teaspoons of curry powder. Just a mild curry powder here. Use whichever one you like. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna saute this again for two minutes on 100 degrees with the spoon function. This is smelling beautiful. All right, now we're gonna add our sweet potatoes because I've got 600 grams here, chopped roughly in three centimeter cubes. So they're ranging from looking like this to this. Obviously it's difficult to make squares out of a round potato. And then I'm gonna add 60 grams of tomato puree. Then we want 500 grams of water. Okay, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of my stock paste. So this just keeps really nicely in the freezer for whenever you need it. Check out my other recipes how to make the stock paste. I'm just gonna pop that on for 12 minutes at 100 degrees wooden spoon function and reverse blades. Okay, our first 12 minutes are up. I'm just gonna remove the measuring cup and I'm gonna pop the Varoma into position. Now I'm gonna use some microwave rice because it's nice and quick and I'm just gonna steam it in the Varoma. So I've just got some pilau rice here, which goes nice with curries. And then I'm using the first layer, so that first shelf that's in the Varoma, because it's got a bigger base capacity to steam nice and easily. So just make sure that rice is nicely broken up. So now I'm just gonna continue that cooking. I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock this time. And I'm gonna put it all the way up to Varoma, just to make sure that that steam gets through to the rice. Still gonna have it on the wooden spoon function and still in reverse. Okay, that five minutes is up now. I'm just gonna remove the Varoma and take the lid off. Just check my sweet potatoes cooking nicely. 
that looks perfect. And now I'm gonna add 100 grams of fresh spinach. And then just place the lid back on. Add the aroma again. And then I'm just gonna cook that for two more minutes on the Varoma in the reverse blades on the wooden spoon function. So that's finished cooking. And I'm gonna serve up my delicious curry. You could smell this. It smells so delicious. And there you have sweet potato and spinach curry. If you would like to know any more information about the mix, please do send me an email on the address below. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.